Hi Cancer, welcome to your week ahead horoscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign, check them out for all three. Use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, they help you all on your path to your highest vibrational good. So. Uh, before we get into your key to the week, I just want to say there are some changes coming to the Radiant Reality or Radiant Nation, as you guys are called. Uh, and I just want to say thank you so much. All of your feedback is really, really important to me. All of your support is even more important to me. And I'm really, really grateful that you give it. I completely understand that you guys are, were not here for the fortnightly readings that I tried to do. So there's that. Um, <laughs> shade thrown, totally men. Um, so you know what? I hear you. Don't don't worry. These aren't going away. But the way that I do things is shifting all over the place. So um, stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, I think you guys are going to love what I bring you um, next. <laughs> all right. So, uh, sorry, I don't know why I'm laughing like an idiot. But anyway, got the giggles. So for your key to the week this week, you have the Hermit card, right? This makes a lot of sense to me. So as many of you know, I've got a Cancer Moon. Very proud of that fact because, right? Hello. Fucking awesome. Um, <laughs> uh, please don't hurt me, YouTube gods. Um, so the Hermit card, it means that in all of these different areas of life, and this has been a theme for you guys for a while, right? There's a lot of changes going on behind the scenes. There's a lot of adaptation. There's a lot of you guys taking things back to basics. You're stripping it back. If you've been with me long enough, or if you've taken my tarot course, you know who you are. Um, when the hermit shows up, the high priestess has a message for you, right? Your internal intuitive faculty, which is very strong in Cancerian people, sun, moon, or ascendant, um, your intuitive faculty has a message for you, but you're not able to hear it at the moment because your life is too loud. This week you are being encouraged to take time out, to remove yourself from the world or to get rid of what is overly sort of loud, what's too much noise, too much energy, and then let that be, right? And then that way your own inner voice is gonna to start to speak to you. What it also says is that in all of these different areas, you are simplifying things so that you can start to really move forward in a way that feels that much more aligned to you and potentially even becomes a lot more gainful for you moving forward. Now, when it comes to your... Um, oh gosh, come on brain. When it, yeah, <laughs> sorry. When it comes to your... Uh, actions and options this week, you have the Emperor card, right? So first of all, this is a regaining of your self-sovereignty. It's a regaining of you sort of, it's like you recommanding your space in your life, right? So last time we talked about realignment, recalibration and all of that kind of stuff. This is now re, or not even re something, this is you now starting to build the foundations. In terms of your actions and options, the actions that you're taking this week are you're starting something new. In terms of the options that are available to you, this is a chance to either work with, collaborate with, or connect with people that you would consider authorities in their field, people that you feel are movers and shakers. Whether that's by society standards or not is irrelevant. It's how you personally view these people that really matters. Um, the other thing is, when it comes to this card, this could be your father, it could be your boss, it could be your significant other. This is a card of commitment. So whatever it is that you're working on this week, you are committed to making it work. When it comes to your communications and conversations, you've got the chariot card, wow. So this is not only a lot of forward momentum energy, but this is a lot of cardinal energy, right? You've got the emperor, that's Aries. You've got the chariot, that's Cancer. This is all, all energy forward, right? This is new everything, we go now, we don't wait. You are in it, you are in that stream of forward moving consciousness and momentum, and yet, you still have the Hermit card, right? So the message here is, you know like that old African proverb when they say, um, if you wanna go quick, go alone. If you wanna go far, go with others. 
it looks like what you're doing at the moment is it's like I need to go quick I need to just get this done I need to get it out into the world I need to just put it forward and then I will bring others on board right so you it's kind of like you're blending the two here now when it comes to your communications and conversations this is going to be a very busy week right just telling you straight up the chariot card there's going to be conversations two and three and four a penny and yet you've still got the hermit card right this what this tells me is this week you're gathering information as opposed to you know it's like you're just pulling it all in right pulling it all in pulling it all in and then when you're ready you will do what you need to do when it comes to those of you that are studying or in some form of academia if you want to hear the words I'm going to tell you straight up you pass with flying colors in fact a lot of you if you've got tests exams or anything of the nature you are absolutely bossing it I'm seeing distinctions or tens 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 across the board mama like this is great right really great stuff for those of you that are um employed by somebody else I really like this for you forging a new path within your organization that you're not really letting people know about yet it may even be that you've been recruited internally for a position and you haven't told anyone yet and I'm gonna say soon enough you will have to start telling them all right I think by the time we get to birthday season cancer season anywhere from the 21st of June onwards I think you will be ready to share when it comes to those of you that are um mm, gosh uh, when it, yeah, when it comes to those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, your intuition is trying to tell you that there are either things or people that you can't necessarily take with you, or it's trying to tell you that you're maybe not going in the direction that you need to be, right? And you can't hear it at the moment because you're so busy. Take a moment, take a breath, take a beat so that you can hear this. The chariot card means that you end up where you need to. You're having a business success in some way, shape or form. But the weird thing is with that hermit card, it's almost like you either can't or don't want to celebrate it. It's like this is very much under wraps. You're having to keep it to yourself for now, um, which is both accurate for what you are meant to be doing right now but it's also sad that you feel like you can't share this and you need to ask yourself why right that's a really important question if you can't celebrate your wins because you're worried about who might see it or how they might feel your people need to change right i'm telling you straight up that's how i operate in my life if you can't be happy for me and my success don't fuck with me right i'm really i'm really not here for it and the reason I say that is because when I see my people win, friends, colleagues, family, right? This is, I'm, I'm a Cancer Moon, so I'm here with you, right? I love to see other people win. I get so excited and enthusiastic. And you know, the, the really sad part about this for me is uh, there's been a lot of times people have accused me of like, oh, you fancy this person or... Um, they'll get really weird with me because I'm like asking a million questions. I get really excited and I get really into it. That's not because I want to steal from you. It's not because I fancy you. It's not because I want anything from you. It's because at the core of my being, who I truly am is the kind of person that loves to see other people win. Why? Because I know what it is to lose. I know what it is to go without. I know what it is to be hurt. And I know what it is to feel so fucking lonely that you feel like your soul is going to break, right? I've been there. And the way that I see it is if I am the only person in somebody else's life or world or experience that is excited for their wins or, or is, is possibly the only person in their life that is building them up, you better damn sure believe that I will be your cheerleader, right? I love to see other people win. Why? Because it doesn't take anything away from me to see somebody else be successful in any way, shape or form. And I know that at the very center, the very fabric of who I am. Right? That's how I can win uh, and see other people win and not feel nothing about it. That's how, not nothing, but you know what I mean? Like not feel any way. I'm like, oh my God, this is fucking awesome. Uh, right? <laughs> like, and that's how I get, I'm, that's me. That is my energy. And it's just, it's really sad that we've built up this society that when you, you show interest in people and you wanna see them win and you get really excited and you ask all these questions, everyone's like, oh, why are you flirting with them? Like, do you like them? And it's like, no, I'm being a human being. Do we forget what that is? Uh, anyway, sidebar tangent. I know I've just got a massive rant, but fuck it, whatever. This is me. I'm leaving it in. Um, 
For those of you that are retired and no longer working <laughs> to get back to the reading, those of you that are no longer retired, uh, yeah, for those of you that are business owners, etc., if you can't celebrate around your people, your people need to change, straight up. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, this could literally be that you are planning some form of travel for you and your significant other, or potentially, it could be that there's a family get together that needs to happen, but it's not like a, a leisurely kind of get together. There's a reason for this. And for some of you, it might be an intervention of sorts. For your love and relations, you've got the Seven of Cups. It's not the easiest of cards, right? Seven of Cups usually will show up as, uh, it can be a self illusory um, tendency. For those of you that are uh, partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, this opposite the Hermit card, there's a lot of deep rumination and thought about the connection or the commitment and the relationship. What I like about the Chariot card being here is it's kind of like you're saying to your partner, your significant other, we're making some changes, you're either on board or we're heading for Splitsville, right? Maybe not as stark as that, maybe you're a bit more diplomatic than I am, um, but it's kind of like you're laying down the law of where you expect the relationship to go. And I think this is a good thing. I will say to you, don't add any more to it. For those of you that are single and looking and ready to mingle and having fun and open to having fun, date, have fun, enjoy, get into the pleasure of it, but don't look for any more than that, all right? This is fun, it's, you know, dating, it's flirtatious, it's possibly a little bit of overindulgence with this person. Outside of that, it's not anything concrete, all right? And I think this is where it needs to be right now. Before we get into your money and materials, I want to mention the lunar lacuna. You are the lunar beings of the zodiac, so you absolutely want to be a part of the lunar lacuna. Uh, what is it, right? We're talking astrology, we're talking tarot, we're talking numerology, we're talking energy work, syncing you and your energy work, uh, should I say your energy system, to the cycles of the moon. It's moon manifesting, right, in a short sort of way to say it. So if you want to be a part of that, you can pay annually or you can pay monthly. It's completely up to you. It's totally accessible in terms of its price point. I can't wait to see you there. We've got a good bunch of people already. I'm really, really excited about this one because as you know, right, I've had a love affair with Luna, our dear Luna, for the longest time. So if you are, if you want to get that, you can do so on the link in the description box below. There's also links to the two moon video, the Luna Lacuna videos that I put out. If you haven't seen them already, check them out. It will give you more information on what it is, what we're doing, blah, blah, blah. And uh, you'll have one of those little floaty things as well. For your money and materials, you've got the King of Pentacles. Okay, come through with this many. Um, look, love this for you. There's quiet winds here, Cancer, right? There's quiet boosts to the income. There's quiet money that's coming in. For some of you, this could even be a quiet promotion of some sort. King of Pentacles is a great card for money because it's the realization and the attainment of financial goals. A Virgo man could very well have something to do with this for you as well. Uh, when it comes to your physical health and vitality, this is going to be your neck, your throat, this whole sort of general area. And I will say, if you're having any problems this week, remember, I'm not a doctor, can't give you medical advice, this is not a diagnosis, but if you're having any... Um, like problems or issues with your body or even your thyroid this week or things like that, it's likely to be something that you're eating and you don't realise that you're either allergic to it or that it doesn't agree with you personally or it may be interacting with one of the medications that you're already on. Go to your doctor, your endocrinologist, go to your, um, even a pharmacist can help you with this kind of thing. So I'll give you an example. A lot of people don't know, or, well, more people know now, but a lot of people didn't know that if you are a regular taker of hay fever medicine, you're not meant to eat so much grapefruit because the two interact quite badly and they can really wreak havoc with your liver. Um, if you don't know that and you're like, yeah, well, you know, I'm eating my grapefruit, I'm being healthy, blah, 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 and you don't realise that there's all this build-up stuff going on inside your body. So check this out this week, right? Check with your healthcare professionals. Finally, when it comes to your home and environment, it looks like a lot of you are potentially spending money on the home this week. Um, and I like this, but I've got to be honest with you, unless it's a home that you're planning to sell, 
uh, you know, or um, planning to stay in for a while, and it doesn't look like you will be, a lot of Cancerians are going to be on the move soon, um, I would just limit how much, because you could get really carried away with the spendage, all right? With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in your comment uh, in the comments how it shapes up. Take care, and I'll see you soon.